Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again. And as you can see, uh, we have the electric bike torn down right now. Uh, I was going for a bike ride and went to go pick up some groceries and some dinner. And on my way back, the uh, bike started making this uh, strange odor of electrical death, and my electric motor started slowing down. So, about a block from the house, it finally just gave up. I think the uh, motor is completely fried. So, I've removed the motor from the bike, as you can see right here. And I pulled the full, uh, four bolts out of the outside here. Now let's take a look at what happened. As you can see, this is barely even turning anymore. So we'll pop off the back first. And the smell of electrical death, that blue smoke monster that Abe talks about, uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. I've loaded some computer power supplies and uh, they smell way better than the way this motor smells. So pulling off the back here, you see we have the brushes. If you look at the brushes, if I can get this to focus. If you look at the brushes there, there's not much left. So that's probably one of the issues. This motor is about six, seven years old. I've used it on various projects. But yeah, as you can see, there's barely any spring left in that uh in this brush assembly. There's barely any brushes left in there. If we take a look, it doesn't really look like the wiring up here fried. May look a little, a little burnt right there. Of course, since I'm wearing gloves, my touch screen doesn't want to focus or anything. hit the button to focus. And then inside that, I have a little bearing. Bearing's in okay shape. We'll throw that in the bit box. Something we might be able to use later. You can see this is 24 volt, 250 watt motor. You can see you have the brush pickup right here. And then all of this, which is the windings, Let's see if we can get this out. <clears throat> Pop the front off. The front's got a bearing housing on it as well. So the front's got a bearing. Oh man, you take that cap off and it smells intense in here. Woo! The smell of electrical death. <clears throat> well, generally this is not supposed to happen. All these copper wires in here are wrapped up and insulated so they don't touch each other. So it looks like we got a big hot spot right here and it just melted off the uh, protection or the insulation and then the uh, wires made contact with each other and shorted out. Take a look at the uh, pickups here. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a little fried. See right there, and it's probably where it finally just did its last uh, short out and fried. Oh god, this thing is intensely sm bad smelling. Huh. So moving on, all we got left is the housing. Well, we got some free, uh, fairly strong magnets in there. Yeah, pretty good magnets. They're not, you know, as strong as those neo uh, neodymium neodymium hard drive magnets, but we can probably, we'll probably pop these off the housing and use them for something else. That'll be fun. But now, I have the friction, uh, friction drive set up, but like, I don't have another motor that uh, will fit in here the way that this one fit in. So uh, we're probably going to have to change up this electric bike a little bit. Uh, don't really have the funds right now to go out and get, you know, just go out and buy another scooter motor. If I did, I'd probably go up to a 300 or a 450 watt scooter motor anyway, just to uh, make it work a little bit better and probably not fry like this one did. So I have two options that I can go from here. I have those brand new batteries, which they've probably got a total of about 10 rides on them. I have... A 350 watt 
And this came off of, uh, if you check me out on Instructables.com, this came off of the first electric trike build that I did. I had two of these in a pair sitting like this. Oops. Sitting like this with the sprocket in the middle and another motor on the other side. Um, I would only run one motor and the other motor that I have like this, I have, uh, these are off old electric wheelchairs because they're uh, pretty resilient motors and they have a really neat uh, 90 degree gearbox in them. But uh, the second motor to this one is actually on the sketchy cart. So I really don't want to use this because I don't have extra parts. Like if the motor blows out or something like that, I don't have extra parts. So instead of the 350 watt motor, how about we just go right up to the 500? I said this is a you know this is a brushed motor. It's 500 watts. If you look in the back here, the motor is only that big, but it's got the 90 degree gearbox on it. Uh, this one might be familiar. It's from the electric trike build, and uh, it's got a nice sprocket on it already. The RPMs are great for it. Uh, if I compare this up with a uh, second sprocket on the back wheel here. Because on the uh, back wheel, you have the one sprocket. I want to keep that because we have the drivetrain. So on the other side, like right here, I want to put another sprocket on the other side. So probably going to have to take a trip down to the uh, Reno Bike Project, and we'll uh, see what they have in stock there and see what you know. one of the guys at the bike shop can tell me on uh, what we can do to uh, build up a... Uh, bike rim with a couple of uh, sprockets on the back that way we have one freewheel sprocket for the motor and then the current freewheel that has a coaster brake on it for the uh, the human part of the driving but this should be a pretty good thing to bolt in you know I got these brackets right here and these brackets you know you can, as you can see they're, they're bolt holes evenly spaced so I can move this forward and back as I need to to get it to mount up But this right here, it's going to significantly reduce my range because it's 500 watts, but I'll gear it up so it can go faster. I'll just run it at like half power and uh, still be able to get close to or just a little bit less range than I am right now on these batteries. And the batteries, they, uh, I got these on Amazon. I guess uh, Expert Power is the brand. Um... I mainly bought uh, ones from Expert Power because they had the best reviews. As you can see, it's a 12 volt, 20 amp hour battery. And two of them together makes the 24 volt system. And luckily, our controller is still working. So when the uh, motor stopped working, first thing I thought is well, maybe I blew the controller because, you know, the electrical death smell and whatnot. And uh, disconnected the motor from the motor housing and just put a voltmeter on it, turned the power on, and uh, it was still putting out proper voltage and all that stuff. Uh, another reason why the motor could have died was uh, this guy right here, which was 250 watts, was being fed by this. So it was running at 100% uh, capability the whole time. And uh, it, you know, I did mention in one of the ride videos that it was generating a lot of heat. And uh, if anything, I'm the one that probably tried the motor, but hey, I got six years out of it, so it'll be fine. Now our setup on the bike is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to set up the back seat somehow because we have the uh, currently have the bike rack that bolts to the seat, and then the seat can move around. But I'm going to need to make something a lot more solid than this because we're dealing with a lot of torque at 500 watts, especially from that electric wheelchair motor. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so what I'll probably do is uh, build something that comes straight out from the seat or maybe up from the seat post a little bit and come straight back and then has the struts that come down on the side like the... Uh, this current one does, but make it all one metal piece and see if I can source parts from like the hardware store or something like that. But uh, going 
going back to the 500 watt motor here since I have two of these they were salvaged off an electric wheelchair so you'll have one that has one hub going this way and one hub going the other way so you have a left and a right motor but since they're brushed we can run them either direction but since I know I have extra parts for this I can you know like a new motor I can just slap the motor on if this one fries out too but I think this project uh, was probably much needed because the bike was underpowered and uh, hopefully I can figure out a way to uh, set up the rear rim to uh, accept uh, two sprockets and we'll hack this together in a couple of more videos and take it out for a test ride. And that's what I have for today. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and until next time, build stuff and have fun.